Right, so uh, this is a continuation of the update here. So these are all my juveniles now. Not really juveniles, they're, they're young adults now. They're really getting on big. Uh, they're even breeding. I've got some holding ones in there, as you can see down there. Uh, yellow labs holding. Um, these are my Blue Man Jangos, so they're doing very well. I've got Red Top Honkies in here and Yellow Tailed Asi. So it's about time I got the tanks sorted out upstairs in the garage as well um, and we get these transferred into their real home so we're working hard on getting that done. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would do but uh, in fairness I am doing a lot more than I thought I'd do as well. So um, one of the updates is this. This is what I've been working on. So this is called a Raspberry Pi. It's got a relay board, 16 channel relay board. Um, I've got a breadboard attached there to um, a thermometer and I'm going to have several of these throughout my fish room um, which will record the temperatures in the tanks and obviously the air temperature as well. So I'm working hard on getting this all up and running. So the relays themselves will uh, control the pumps, uh, the lights, the air pumps, you name it. If it's electrical, it'll all go through this device and be controlled um, through the through a web app that I'm building as well. So just quickly going on to that. This is currently recording the temperatures. Not sure whether you can see that very clearly, but it's suddenly recording the temperatures from that one sensor. And like I said, I'll have uh, about 10 of these going, if not more, eventually. Um, so that's recording the temperature. Current room temperature is uh, 23.562 degrees centigrade or 74.4116 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so I can show you that going upwards just by touching the probe. It's a bit blurry I'm afraid. It's already going up. So it's 26.625, 27, 28 and it will continue to go. And that can monitor water as well as air temperature. So that's what I've been busy trying to do. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, also the web page that I've been working on. So bear with me two minutes while I just get that working. So here we go, we've got, uh, these will control all the relays, these are little um, toggle buttons on a web page so I can control lights, sump, air pump and then I've got one for each of the six tanks I'm going to have initially set up but I can add more and more to these as I want. Um, so if I just switch the, uh, the sump on, the page gets refreshed and you can see there we've got that set and the lights for the sump are on. Um, they're also configured to start on boot up as well as the Raspberry Pi, so obviously if there's a power outage, my sump and heaters will always kick off and my air pumps etc. will always kick off. So that will be done by boot on the Raspberry Pi. So I can turn lights on. And as you can see, three more relays have lit up. Um, and all these will be connected to the mains and also 12 volt as well. So I'll have mains for obviously the pumps and things connected into just one side of the relays and the other side, uh, the majority of those will be 12 volt outputs to, to connect to things like lighting, which will be LED lighting anyway. So, um, so all that seems to be working quite nicely now. We can click on uh, tank one. And we get another light appear at the top there with the sump ones. Turn on one that's obviously you can see. Tank four. That's now on. So we've got some more lights popping on there. And uh, watch it coming on when I click on air pump. That one comes on. Tank two. Tank three. Tank four. You got on and tank five and tank six. Just like that. And obviously we can turn everything off, so lights off, sump off, air pump off, 
and then each of the tanks as well. So we can control all this purely by a web app. And this is what I wanted to make sure happened um, as part of my fish room upgrade. I wanted to automate as many things as I possibly could in the fish room. Um, I'm also going to have an automatic top up going on. So again, this will be controlled by the Raspberry Pi. So I've got uh, feed pipes out in the garage now. I'm going to put a solenoid valve on there, which will be controlled by the Pi with a float switch. So when it drops to a certain level, it'll do an automatic top up of the tanks and stuff. So one thing I did notice before with all my tanks is uh, the, the water drains down quite quickly or evaporates quite quickly. And you have to keep an eye on those things, especially you don't want to burn out any equipment. So the Raspberry Pi is going to be there as a safety net. It's going to be able to turn off pumps if the water level drops too low. It's going to be able to turn on extra heaters if the temperature is too low as well. Um, and like I said, automatically do uh, water top ups as well. So this is why it's taken me so long to do an update. I want to get as many of these things up and running as possible. These will all be put in a cabinet, a waterproof cabinet as well, all these components, so there'll be no chance of getting fires going on. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's been fun doing this, and I'm sure it'll be fun continuing. So uh, thanks for watching.